Yeah, you've, you've said a couple of times you want guys to feel stressed a little bit about having to you know compete every day for a starting spot and stuff. Do you feel like you've done that with free agency and the draft? You have yeah, I, I think that if you look across the board, every position group was strengthened either through free agency or the draft. You know, and I think that just, you know, it's bound to happen. Uh, most teams can say they did that, but I think it's just an overall feeling of, of uh, competition with each room, and that, that's always good. still comes down to what Blake's able to do. I mean, for the most part. Well, I think it's, a bit, you know, I, every position group can say that. It's a big part that our offense line gets better. Yeah, our running backs do better. So it's across the board. I think that's really mentality throughout our whole team. But, um, you know, since that's, you know, a position that's really public and, and people look at, um, you know, he has to improve. But th there's no doubt in my mind he will. What intrigues you about Sample? Uh, just his size, I think, and versatility, his uh, mentality. Um, I think there's no doubt that we want guys that uh, love the game and play with that sense of spirit, that uh, energy level. Uh, that we have on uh, the defensive side of the ball, and I think he has those traits as well as his, his uh, athleticism. Uh, how do you think, uh, with him or Sergio back there, will they allow you guys to use Cyprian more like you envisioned? Well, um, yeah, I, I think that uh, w we make a decision based on the type of free safety that we have, how we utilize Cyp. Um, if we feel like they, you know, the free safety can be a down safety and play in the box and do really well, that's advantageous for us. If SIP can play in the middle of the field and do some things in the middle of the field and do all the traits we're looking for, that's good. So teams can't just book which safety's coming down in the box. So in the ideal sense, we'd like to have both of them have the ability to come down. If uh, the free safety does not have that trait, then you would see SIP, you know, being the guy that'd be down more. So it really depends on how they do. What you see out of Green? Uh, you know, I think with the quarterbacks, it, it, uh, they have a tendency to go, they, they want receivers they can trust. You know, they're going to run good routes. They're going to catch the balls that are thrown to them. Uh, they're disciplined. They're tough. And uh, that's what he has. He has those traits. I could see that it could develop to where the quarterbacks really trust him, really trust him. Uh, and I think uh, he's shown that over the course of time. Other than Fowler, would you say this is a draft that was – Definitely more offense heavy than defense heavy. Yeah, uh, you know, what? what is it? I think there's, what, five offense and three defense? Yep. So, you know, it just worked out. It wasn't our intention to build offense or defense. Uh, as you know, there's some, like the linebackers. If there had been a linebacker there, one of those guys, maybe in the third round, we would have looked at it. There wasn't, so next best player available. And um, so, you know, I don't think we projected it or looked at it and said there's going to be more offense or defense. Um, you know, it just worked out that way. The can pick, is that, I don't want to call it underrated, but is Which that one? the A.J. can pick? Yeah. Is that a pick that may not get a lot of attention, but you guys Well, really sometimes in the offensive line, you know, that, that happens. But I know we're really pleased with it, really pleased. I know just in our scale where we had him rated and he was available there. And, uh, again, I think that, you know, you know, sometimes you get caught up in saying this is sending a message to him. It's not, I think, that you want to, create each, each position group, you want to strengthen it and, and competition. And, um, you know, I think that's what it's created. But, um, yeah, we're very pleased with him. How, surpri pleased. how surprised and happy were you that both Green and Bennett were available? Yeah, I, I know, because we, you know, looked at that earlier. The conversations, both their names came up earlier. And, um, you, you know, just in conversations. So to have the ability to draft them where we did, uh, you know, it was great. And I give credit to our scouts and to Dave, you know, because they are patient, uh, able to fill some other needs for us and still get the guys that we coveted, uh, and, you know, later rounds. Is your offense all in now? Or is it still a work in progress? Uh, the in install part of it? Yeah. No, still a work in progress. Uh, how would you describe how it would be different from last year? The offense? Yeah. Um, well, we have no fullback. <laughs> You're kidding. That would be different. <laughs> what? Uh, you know what? Uh, it'll, it'll be interesting uh, without giving out too much information. I mean, it's not going to be a secret. You play preseason games and things like that. But, uh, you know, I think that it's, uh, you know, the, the offense you can try to see where we really try to utilize the strength of the players.
you know, and, and you know, try to find out their skill set. But that, that would have taken place. You know, as, you know, the longer you're with guys, the more you get to know them, you, you utilize their skill set and put them in positions where they succeed. So it, you could see a little bit more of that, specific uses out of, out of people where we think their skill sets. You know, a guy like Marquise Lee now at X, you know, we feel like that'll be a good uh, move for him, uh, you know, playing the X spot. Um, you know, so I think getting to know the players more. That's why, you know, I think if you ask uh, the, some of the new coaches that have been here, I mean, they've watched film, they get a chance to meet with them, they really are looking forward to the time to, to get them out in the field and actually see them work and see them play. And I think, you know, that's why those the OTAs and training camp will be so important. How do you just feel like big picture this offseason has gone for you guys? I think it's very good. I was really pleased. Uh, free agency, you know, you put it in a combination of free agency and the draft. And, and I felt like, you know, we, we added very good players, very pleased with all that, very pleased with their mentality. And, um, you know, we, I think we've got a good locker room. We've got some good players in that locker room. So the addition of free agency in the draft is only going to make us better. So I love the fact that we really competed strongly, you know, to get players in here that would fit our culture, to fit what we're trying to do, and um, are very good players. Your owner said, there was quoted Thursday as saying, Gonna make a big jump this year. You still got a second year quarterback. You think he's been a well? That's a, that's our but that's our mentality. You know, you know that we we really want to make a big jump jump in improvement and 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 uh, you know we're going to challenge these guys. You know, sometimes you challenge them in different ways. You know, a rookie that's coming in, he's got different things he's facing, different anxieties that he's dealing with. But a lot of these guys now they played a lot of football. You know, they start a lot of games and. Um, you know, so uh, we do expect to make a jump.